Now that you've created an account, it's time to add your works. You're welcome to upload book chapters, journal articles, white papers, data sets, and more, as long as you hold the copyright or have permission from the publisher. For help determining what you can legally post, visit guides.library.sc.edu slash scholarcommons slash sharing. First, start by logging in to scholarcommons.sc.edu. Next, click Submit Research from the toolbar on the left. Locate the collection that's most appropriate for your work. For example, if I was a faculty member in the School of the Earth, Ocean, and Environment, I would navigate to USC Columbia, to the College of Arts and Sciences, to the School of the Earth, Ocean, and Environment, and finally, to Faculty Publications. Carefully read through the submission agreement before agreeing to the terms and selecting Continue. You'll arrive at the submission page, where you'll enter the relevant information about your work. Enter as much as you can, but don't worry if you're missing some pieces. First, enter the title of your work using headline style capitalization. Next, submit the names of the authors in the order that they're listed in the publication. If you need to add additional authors, simply check the green plus sign. If you make a mistake in the author order, you can easily reorder them by changing the numbers. If you'd like to include ORCID identifiers, enter them into the next field. You're required to enter a publication year, but the season, month, and day are optional. In the next field, enter the title of the journal or the book in which the work was published. If applicable, enter the editor, volume, issue, and page numbers. You'll be asked to select a publication status for the work. If you're unable to share the full text and are linking to an external website, select Published In. If you're sharing a preprint of the work, select Preprint Version. And for a postprint, which is the final version of your work before copy editing and publication, select Postprint Version, Published In. If allowed to share the full text of a published work, select Reprinted From. And if none of these options apply to your work, select, select Not Applicable. In the next field, Embargo Period, you can choose to restrict the access to the text for a certain amount of time if it's required by the publisher. Please keep in mind that the embargo will be set from the entry date rather than the official publication date, so you may need to make some small adjustments. Even if an embargo is enacted, the information about the work, such as the author, title, and abstract, will still be visible on the website. Next, select the type of document that best represents your work. A few available options are article, book chapter, book review, conference proceeding, and poster. If your work is in a language other than English, please enter it in the next field, but otherwise feel free to skip this field. Keywords are important and help search engines locate and return your work. Enter a few keywords separated by commas. Next, either enter or skip any relevant subject areas. So that your work can be appropriately categorized, select the discipline or disciplines that best describe your submission. If applicable, enter an abstract for your work. If there is no abstract, enter a brief description. If there's been a DOI assigned to your work, enter it into the Digital Object Identifier field as a URL. Next, enter the copyright statement for your work and any other relevant copyright information that you may need to share with Scholar Commons administrators. Finally, feel free to add an APA citation to your work.
To add your work, you can either upload the file from your computer, import the file from a remote site as long as there are no access restrictions, or link out to the file. If copyright restrictions prevent you from uploading the full text of the document, linking out to the file will provide readers with access options to their institution or the publisher. I'll upload the file from my computer by choosing the file, navigating to the location of the document, and selecting the correct title. Finally, if your work was previously published in a journal, Select Yes to publication status to make it easy for readers who are affiliated with an educational institution to access the full text of the article, even if the full text can't be uploaded to Scholar Commons. If you'd like to include supplemental files, such as a data set, sound recordings, videos, or slides, click Yes when asked if you'd like to add additional files. You'll be presented with the option to add files on the next screen. And finally, hit Submit. Your work will not immediately be posted, but will be reviewed for accuracy and copyright compliance to ensure that the best possible version of your work is presented to the world. Thank you for sharing your research and scholarship.